Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the Lico September Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So I actually earlier recorded the, um, the uh, Larry bonus question. That, and what I mean is that I some days I do an extra problem that I haven't done before just to get some practice in, right? And I did a quick, a long intro, actually, talking about problem solving and some thoughts that I have about getting better, right? Um, usually I do it on this part of it, but then I, I think I just forgot. So, uh, so you can fast forward if you like, but I am just going to cut, um, uh, next into that part. So it's maybe a little bit jarring. It's about like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something like this, which is actually kind of long, but you can fast forward or skip ahead if you, if you don't care about it and just want to get to the problem. But otherwise, yeah, uh, I'll see you after the flip. Beep. Today is my rest day, uh, true real rest in the past. Uh, I've, I haven't had real rest days where my rest days were just going to strength training and that's just tough, you know? Uh, so yeah, but as marathon uh, training is coming up, or ramping up rather, uh, I'm giving myself more rest. I think one thing that I thought about, and I was actually talking about um, the contest videos, right? Like I, you know, I do my daily videos on Lead Co. as you, you know, if you're watching this, then you probably maybe see them. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button so that you can, you know, do them with me every day, even if you, you know, just to kind of compare notes and check answers, whatever, and check ideas, even more importantly, right? Uh, even maybe possibly easier problems. Um, but yeah, I also do, the other thing that I do is the content, uh, the contest videos, right? Where I do a content, you know, a live recording. I mean, obviously it's not live because that's cheating, but like, you know, I record it live and then I push it out. So sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad just because, you know, it's live. Right. Uh, and I was also doing an explanation video. I think one thing that, um, I don't know, maybe some parts of it is that this, these new contests, these recent contests lately, it's been too easy and too hard, or well, one easy, one medium, but two easier problems and two more difficult ones. Um, and as a result, I think people are, um, you know, getting stuck at the um, Q3 more and more often, right? The easier of the more difficult ones. Um, I think the thing is that, um, you know, and this applies both for the lead code contest and also just like when you're practicing by yourself, right? Is that, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like, what, well, there are two things, right? One thing that I always talk about, and I've mentioned this before, so I, I don't want to, at least today, I don't want it to be the focus, which is that, you know, understanding is not the same as being able to do it, right? Just because I, if, I'm, if I explain it in a way such that you understand it, you understand the solution, is that good? Yeah, it's good. It's not bad. But what I try, that's, that's not necessarily what I'm trying to do, right? What, I necess what I'm trying to do, even eh, you could say maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, that's fair, is that I'm trying to um, go over ways such that you can solve or you could get to the solution, right? The distinction about being able to solve it and or just, or just understanding, right? You could say maybe understanding is a prerequisite to solving it, but I don't know that that's necessarily true per se in the sense that understanding the solution doesn't mean that, you know, taking the steps to get there um, uh, are not quite the same thing, right? Anyway, and that being said, so that I, I've talked about this in, in more depth in the past, and the thing is that you, obviously, you know, the conclusion there is that your goal should be to focus on being able to solve it. Um, and that's what I try to kind of explain it in my way is that how I approach it, right? I think that's more interesting. For me, I consider it more interesting or at least it's more me, right? Because anyone can under, anyone can read the solution. Yeah, a lot of people do. Some people make videos, right? Where they re clearly read solutions that other people wrote and they weren't able to solve it. And then they just kind of like, be like, oh, this is the explanation. And then they sound very smart because they just kind of read it off some forum or they copy someone's solution and have chat GBT write up the explanation and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, and maybe it flows a little bit better. Maybe the understanding is a little bit easier. But at the end of the day, you still, you know, okay, you, you tell yourself you're able to understand the problem or the solution, but you're not able to solve it. Then what's the point, right? I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe some people, and some and it works up to a point, right? Because it works because a lot of the easier problems 
all you have to do is memorize enough that you're like, okay, let's do the same thing, right? But when you get to the more difficult problems, that doesn't work anymore. And that's where, that's why people get stuck. People get stuck, be- it's not because they're not able to understand it, it's because they're not able to do it, right? And doing it is much more difficult than understanding it. And that's why some of my videos are kind of tough because I try to um, illustrate how to do it and how to get to the point where you can do it and not just like explain, like, I don't, I don't find any value in just explaining the solution, right, per se, or at least in a way that like, you know, um, I'm hoping to kind of hit some points in which you're like, oh, this is what I have to do. This is what I have to do to get there. Not, oh, I understand, this is what I do to do to understand it, right? Those are two distinct things. This is not a test. This is not like, you know, on a, on a college test or something where you're, 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 um, you know, you're tested on your uh, uh, understanding. You're tested on your ability to do these things, right? Okay, so that's the, that's that's the one that I, I you know, I, uh, you watch this this YouTube long enough. Uh, I've said it before, right? Um, but the second point, also honestly, because the the problems are getting more difficult now, is that uh, or and I don't know how much of it that I trust that or how much of it I don't know how. Um, like if you, if your goal is for interviews, are interviews getting harder? I don't know that I see signs of that, honestly. I mean, maybe here and there you can say in India or something like that in OA. Um, I'm not going to get into that. It's just that's the way some things are set up. Then, yeah, maybe, but I don't know. I, I haven't seen much of that, at least in the U.S., right? Um, your mileage may vary. Don't quote me on it. Um, but in any case... The code itself is getting more difficult, whether the interviews are getting dif- more difficult or not, right? And I think there is a thing to be said um, is that at the end of the day, and what, some of the comments that I get from YouTubes, and I don't care that much about it per se, because you know I, I'm living my life, I don't care that much about it. But, um, well, two things, even from this. One is that, and I've said this other part before, which is that if you're leaving a comment to say that you don't understand something that's useless to me and you, right? Like, what am I going to do? Un- explain it clearer? I mean, I'm, you know, for the most part, I think I'm trying the best I can. So, like, there's no help to everybody. It's like, it's like me saying, hey, you didn't solve that problem. Why don't you just solve the problem better? Do you think you feel a little, do, like, do you feel like that's good enough for, to help you solve the problem actually better? No, right? You'll just be like, Larry's being an idiot because he's like, Yo, if I could solve the problem better, I would solve the problem better. So that's what it sounds like to me when you leave a lead code or uh, when you leave a comment on the YouTube, you're like, oh, you didn't, un- you didn't explain it better. So if you're going to ask a question or you're going to leave a comment, or at least if you want to leave a comment that is useful for either you or me, one or the other, or hopefully both, but is ask a question that allows me to help you understand better, even if it's, if it's just understanding, right? Like if you, if you make a statement and it doesn't, change anything then you're not doing anything right if you're asking a specific question like okay like and some of it needs to be self-aware right like i'm like oh i don't understand this thing that larry said because he ran over too fast can you explain like what is the blah 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 principle or whatever or not even that that's maybe not even terrible like maybe more specific is i don't understand this specific uh proof of this principle how do you get from a to b and then, you know, that's a question I'll be like, oh, yeah, you get to a, from A to B because, oh, yeah, I, I said this too fast. You know, you do this by doing this, right? No, that's how you ask questions with an intent to understand. Yeah, maybe you're frustrated. Maybe, I don't know, may, and that's maybe fair. But, and some, you know, these things are hard to understand. More, you know, if, if they're not hard, then you wouldn't be here watching my YouTubes, right? They're hard to understand and you're frustrated. But please. It's useless if you just say that, oh, you didn't understand it clearly. Uh, you didn't explain it clearly. And I could just say the same thing, right? And it's kind of mean when I say it. Uh, it's like, oh, you should just solve the problem better. Or you should understand better. Do you think anyone has helped? Anyway, that's not even what I meant to say. Whoops, what I do? Uh, <laughs> this intro is very long. But, um, but the other thing that I want to say is that um, I think, for, for example, for Q3, of the weekly problem uh, or weekly contest, um, the, the the thing is that is um, the problem was a bit mass dynamic programming problem. It's a problem. 
Maybe there's some argument that I need to do a video on it. I tried to make a video in the past, but someone gave me some crappy problems and I just got lazy about it um, to kind of test on it. But but the point is that, okay, I, I said it in the video, you need to, your prerequisite is bit mass dynamic programming. I'm not going to go over it. If, and the thing is that I explained the rest of that video with the context in mind that you need to know about, uh, you need to be pretty good at bit mass dynamic programming, right? And if you don't, if you don't meet the prerequisites, you're not going to understand it. And, you know, I don't know. Like, people still ask me about it. I'm like, I don't know. Like, you know, uh, I told you the prerequisites, right? And that's to, and I don't mean to say this to, to suggest, to, to make anyone feel bad or anything. It's okay, right? It is just that one thing I would say is it's okay to come back later. Just because you saw a problem, you've seen a problem, you tried on a problem, does not mean you have to solve it today. It, it may mean that you don't have the ability to yet, right? And I would never say that you'll never be able to solve it, but just not today, right? Like if I go to the gym, I, I try to bench, uh, you know, my, my max one, my one RM max, uh, one RM max, one, one web max, I try to bench it and I just fail that day. I'm not going to be at the gym trying trying for hours until I get it, right? That doesn't make sense. I, my body's just not ready for it. And and, and, and lead code and, or, you know, uh, competitive programming is probably the same way, right? Um, even if you do get to a point where you understand the solution, you still may be just not able to do it. That And that's fine, right? Um, you get to, and, th and, and that's the thing, right? Is that because there is this understanding component, I feel like a lot of people fool themselves into thinking that just when I understand the solution, I could do it. That's not true. I understand how to do a bench press. That doesn't mean I could do, you know, a, a heavy weight, you know? Uh, so something like that, right? So one thing is that it's okay to walk away, right? No one, you know, you could be good at the things you want to be good at. You don't have to be good at training. Training is for training. Training is for being good in the future, right? So, you know, it's okay to drop it and come back later. If, if, if you don't know bit mass dynamic programming and you ain't unable to solve those, the harder ones, um, then yeah, that's fine. I mean, you, you should solve easier bit mass dynamic programming problems and then work yourself to, uh, up more difficult ones, right? I mean, I think when I said it that way, it makes sense. But yet everyone's like, oh, I have to understand this. I have to understand this. I mean, no, like, and that's the end of the day is that you can understand something and still not solve it. So what, you know, what benefit are you getting from understanding it? I don't know. Right. Anyway, so my point here uh, on, on this last thing is that it's okay to skip ahead uh, or not skip ahead, but just skip the problem and come back later when you have the prerequisite, when you have the foundations built and when you have to have everything ready. Right. There's no point of uh you know wasting time on something that you're just not able to do right um yet right because you don't have that foundation for it you could come back for it, it it's fine i give you permission it's okay i, I do it all the time they're uh, not in lead code i don't think um but definitely in the past you know the the solutions and explanations are less available so i would i, I would just come back after like a month and like oh can i solve this problem now right so yeah, I mean it's okay. Like the 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 literal like this problem is twenty eight ninety two. The three thousand problems you can find a problem that you can solve. All right, just you know get your work in and you know focus a little bit better on what you want to do, and that's it. Okay, uh yeah, my, that's basically my point for the day. Fourteen minutes in. Uh, my apologies if you weren't expecting that and was just looking for a problem. But hopefully, if you do enjoy it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit all those buttons. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope that was uh, that was useful for y'all. Uh, all right, let's take a look at today's poem, 1945, Sum of Digits of String After Convert. Oh, yeah, if you watched the entire intro, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know where you are in the process of learning. Um, yeah, I think what I said, I still feel very strong only about what I said, right? Because I think it's very used to kind of be a problem collector or even worse a solution collector right where you, you're collecting solutions maybe understand them you don't understand them but at the end of the day no one cares how
how many problems you solve, people are interested in your ability to solve future problems, right? That's what interviews are. So, yeah. So make sure your goal and your focus are aligned in the same thing, right? All right, anyway, let's take a look at today's form. 1945, sum of digits of string after convert. Convert. You're given a string S consisting of lowercase English letters and an integer K. First, convert the S into integer by replacing each letter with its position and element. Okay. Then transform the integer by replacing with the sum of the digits. Okay. Repeat the transform and we're given K. Okay. That's kind of awkward, but I mean, it's just a for loop then, right? Okay, so then first we can, I mean, this is just an implementation problem, so I don't think I have that much commentary while I'm doing it. But uh, but yeah, so let's just say C is for conversion, right? Um, okay, I mean, I was going to write something even funkier, but... Yeah, for x and s, or maybe even just like this, right? So as an array, right? So then for x and s, we convert it to um, because so this will give us a is equal to one, right? So so we convert it to a number, which we well, I guess the number is fine, right? And because they're concatenated, it's fine. We can keep it as a list of things, right? Uh, eh, maybe not. Let's just, okay, fine. Let's just convert to a string so that we can convert it. So then now, after this, right, we have, um, I don't know. So S is equal to C then, right? And then now we just do the other thing K times. So then now we want digit sum, right? So total is equal to zero. Uh, oh. yeah, I guess we, we set it here, right? And then now for x and s again, which is now a digit, right? So we add um, int of x. And then now we set s is equal to string of total again, right? So then at the very end, after we did this k times, we return int of s. And I think that's the answer, right? Um, at least that's what they're asking us to do. Asking us to do. Oh, maybe not. M maybe I misread this. Oh, I miss. Did I not concat? Oh, 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 I missed the thing. Whoops. Sorry for. <laughs> I don't, this is, is, sometimes Python is a little bit too magical to me because I meant this as a string, uh, and, but somehow, even though it is a list, it still works, uh, which is, uh, like, in other languages, you would expect it to follow an, uh, an error, an exception, at least in how you declare some other stuff. So then I was like, yeah, uh, and, and uh, that's why I was like, oh, that felt good. But yeah, now as you kind of get, it correctly as a string because what happens was that it's a string of whatever and then it's just adding them uh, incorrectly but yeah it looks okay let's give a quick submit looks good I mean you know 16 17 day streak so yeah um, that's all I have for today uh, this is I don't know this is maybe I'm a little bit tired today because the other problem that I did uh, earlier was actually much harder uh, eh, I guess, I mean, it's much harder than this one anyway. I don't know that it is hard. It is much harder. But I'm just tired. I don't know. But this is pretty straightforward, right? Like, I, I don't know if there's anything for me to explain. Let me know in the comments about more, and I should explain more. And apparently, I did this exactly the same before. I mean, I didn't want, I wanted to avoid using a nums concat, but maybe that's fine, right? What is, what is n anyway up to? And it's up to 100, so maybe that would have been fine, but that's why I was kind of avoiding it and instead made that typo. But everything else looks exactly the same, even though it's been three years. Uh, so I don't know, maybe we don't grow that much. But that's all I have for today. Oh, we don't need to grow that much for some problem. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.